1 2 3 4 Welcome back to Technical and Pictorial Drawing at HelveticaMediaMade.com.au In this video I'm going to try and draw an isometric drawing of this uh, sort of toy, toy racing car as if I was in an exam situation. So there's the finished isometric that I've done in Illustrator uh, and that's on my isometric page. I've also done an orthogonal drawing which is similar to what we might get in an exam. Uh, I'm going to look at the car from a spectator point of here from the front left hand corner. I've got dimensions all worked out here and I'm going to use those dimensions to create this up. I notice firstly that it's actually 100 millimeters long, 45 millimeters wide, and 27 millimeters high. So it's pretty small, but I'll see if I can draw that. I think the first thing we do when we do an isometric is we give ourselves uh, a baseline. Let's go up a little bit for that. I might come up 50, I think. Give ourselves a base line. Then we draw two 30 degree lines to begin with. Both of those coming in there. And then start measuring. 100 millimeters long and 45 millimeters wide. Let's bring that line in there. You can use the baseline you've drawn or you can use the bottom of the paper. Hopefully that's not too inaccurate. You can also use the inside of the set square to get things right. Now as I'm forming the crate I need to do my four vertical lines. Get them nice and parallel. And I think it was coming up 27 millimeters. Wait a minute, is that right? Yep, 27. Hopefully that's okay. It's the basic crate taking shape now. I need to start working out the um, wheels now. Now I think the wheels are 12 behind the front and the back. 12 and they're 24 millimeters diameter. Twenty four Let's just check that I'm getting that the right angle. This is a really small car. Twenty four. They're twelve from the back and twenty four diameter again. which is 34 isn't it so let's do that 34 24 hopefully that's okay the wheels are 
10 wide. I prefer to measure that at both ends to try to keep things as accurate as I can. And then I can raise some vertical lines to complete the crates for the wheels. going to do them all even though I may not need them all at the end of this. I am going to use an ellipse template for these wheels. Already there are quite a lot of lines starting to appear on this drawing out there. Okay, let's bring it up to the top 24. Twenty-four at the back. do need to start keeping these construction lines fairly light so they don't <coughs> dominate at the finish one more set of lines to go here to find those squares Now I've crated up all of the ellipses. Time to start thinking about some diagonals to form those ellipses on. I'm just going to do them on the outside of the squares here. And I'll run them on the outside here. Again here and I think I will ensure that I've got a center line to run the ellipse template on. Now let's have a look at these wheels 24 millimeters 29 24 I should be able to line that up with, I think I should use the 25 actually. Give me the thickness of the pencil. I'm lining that up with the diagonals, bringing it through, retaining the center line. I think that goes about there. Again on the back wheel. Okay, before I do any more, I'm going to get the bodywork 
of the car working because I know that it cuts off the wheels. Six millimeters off the ground. And as we found, it was 10 in, wasn't it? Okay, the front of the car rises six. You notice that I'm not measuring on both sides in all cases because we need to hurry up if this was in the exam. I'm going to run a line through from the bottom of the car, but I'm using these marks on the set square to help me keep that parallel. Can you see the marks? on top of the riding. There's the bottom of the car. Bottom of the car at the back. Ten, ten in. I've still got the marks from where I drew the wheels. Ten in. And I've now got the block form of the car there. The back of the car comes up 11. I don't always start the ruler at 0. Depends where which is more convenient and more accurate. There's my 11 from there and the back. Here I won't need this line but I'll put it in anyway. Now, 36 from the front. Thirty-six from the front. Let's draw a vertical line. I'm just calculating uh, the other part of the body work up to the top. So I should do that 36 on the outside actually. For the crate. Then I can draw an isometric line across the top of the car. Ah, and of course it's 10 in. Is that right? Doesn't look exactly right there. How wide is the car? I've almost lost the crate here, which is there. Yep. Not quite right with that one. Okay, let's go 36 again. Up to there it is. Yeah, it's the same point as the wheels. Sorry about that. 10 in. 10 in. Uh, mistakes do happen from time to time when you're doing this sort of thing. So you have to be flexible to rub out and keep going in the right place. Now that I have the body of the car, I should be able to put in my ellipse on the other side. 25 millimeters. where is it? It's that one on this one. Taking care to line up the uh, little black marks with your ellipse template. I've 
I've lost this square. That's in the wrong place. Sorry, too many lines. I've lost the square. That's the outer part of the wheel and this is the inner part. Again at the back. Having trouble locating it again. That should be the outer. This should be the inner. Okay, so we should be able to line off these wheels here. Not super accurate. I'm going to need to improve that before I finish off. Let's get these ellipses in the right place. Not super consistent on both sides, however they'll just about do at the moment. As I'm rushing quite a bit. Rub out any of the construction lines that you can. Oh, and I have forgotten that my wheels have got a center that I've got to put in. Okay. Don't like that there. Let's improve that. Let's drop a center in at 12 millimeters. and that moves in six so again the center on here that moves in six let's just improve this ellipse let's improve that one and this one I'll heavy that one up a little bit more And then heavy in the body of the car. Not sure why that's not lined up perfectly, but it'll do at the moment. So there we have the completed exam style isometric toy car. Good luck producing yours. I hope you have a few less errors and you're able to do it quickly and efficiently.